Kadeem, I don't need the judgment. I'm just trying to give them a fair review. You guys should see my husband's face right now. You're telling them that they should be looking at my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it ha you have to give it at least 10 minutes to sink it. So this is just the first application. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first stage is that you become the same color as your shirt? As long as you're wearing a blue shirt. You're so rude. I can't take you. I'm not doing a review with you no more. Hey, I'm here to speak to you guys about the mineral sunscreen pipette. I've been calling it pipette because um, I speak French. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. This is actually like French name, pipette. No, but it's you. English is said pipette. I might still be saying you're wrong. But I'm trying. I've been wearing, well, I've been trying to make this work now the reason why I absolutely love this brand because one their product on is though it is uh, targeted for babies but it is family friendly their product is something that even an adult you could also use it so that's the reason really what I was gravitating towards it because I'm really into like the whole minimalist uh, lifestyle so to be able to find a product that my whole entire family could wear is a win for me now not only that but mineral sunscreen is one of the sunscreen that is really recommended for dark skin because it just we have less chance of having a reaction compared to a chemical sunscreen and that is why also another reason why I actually went and purchased this and <laughs> The reason also I purchased this is this is the only sunscreen that was recommended by I'm just gonna put her face over here that I was able so she made like a whole video recommending um like mineral sunscreen that is dark skin friendly and out of everything that she lists this is the only one I was able to get my hands on because I live in Canada I don't really have access to a lot of product that like people in either UK or United States will be able to have access to. So this unfortunately was the only one that I was able to get access to. Now, um, I really wanted to love this product. I really wanted to love it. I love the application. I love how effortlessly it went on my skin and I love how light it was on my skin. But the only downfall, I just could not run away from the gray cast. Right now, I am wearing it. I'm wearing it right now as we speak. You might think to yourself, oh my God, you know, it looks great. It looks great on camera. It's not really that noticeable on the camera. Um, but the downfall about this is after a while, it does dissolve, but you're supposed to reapply it every two hours, right? So 
it kind of disappeared i guess after two hours but in the meantime within that two hours it's very much noticeable every single time i would wear it my husband would literally just let me know that that's the sunscreen was just not working out for me <laughs> That are just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> you know we're right, we're, we're we're supposed to be in church, right? I don't appreciate the shades that you're throwing right now. I don't appreciate the shades that you're lacking right now. <laughs> oh, he let me know his commentary did not stop. <laughs> It did not stop and that's one thing i love about him because it's very honest i feel like this sunscreen it may not be for me but i think it is still dark skin friendly because i tried it on my daughter and it looked perfectly fine on her so this is something that i'm still able to use it in my home but just not for me so um instead of instead of one to ten i would give it a seven because like i said it just doesn't work for my face, but I could still wear it. Like on my neck, it was perfectly fine. I could still wear it other part of my body. I just cannot wear it on my face. So that is that. I think I'm going to make this a series um, where I try like mineral sunscreen <laughs> that I could find in Canada or that could ship to Canada um, and share with you guys. Because I realized that this is actually a struggle. Like it's really easy to find a chemical sunscreen but for somebody like me who have a sensitive uh, sensitive a sensitive <laughs> skin i really like the idea of having a more uh, a, a mineral a mineral sunscreen um but anyway if you have tried a uh, sunscreen a mineral sunscreen that is dark skin friendly kindly please comment it down below like i said i would love to try my goal is just to find one just one sunscreen that works for me. I know there's um, recommendation like Glossier. Um, I forgot the other ones. There's a few recommendations, but the price tag, it's a little crazy. It, it, it's a little crazy. You know, the amount, the size of the product that you're getting plus the price that you pay, it is not. So I'm just looking for an affordable, accessible mineral sunscreen. So if you have any recommendation, please, please kindly write it down below. If you have tried this, maybe you could let me know. Maybe I'm playing it wrong. I tried the two finger rules. Um, you know, I tried the two finger rules and then I'll apply on my, on my face because I wanted to make sure that I covered it perfectly. I think this is something that could still wear perfectly and beautifully under makeup. But the downfall is that you're really supposed to reapply sunscreen after two hours. And I'm, I'm yet to figure out how is that supposed to work. Like, how you so, are you supposed to wash your face and reapply the sunscreen? And then, but then if you're wearing makeup, are you supposed to reapply the makeup? And I seen like powders, like they sell powder where you could just kind of reapply on top of your makeup. But again, the price tag, why is it so expensive? It is crazy expensive. So um, this might not be for me, but I know it is for someone. Also, I'm gonna link down below a few um, video that I have watched recommending uh, sunscreen for dark skin. I am not able to have access to them. It doesn't mean that you should be penalized for that. So I have found videos that really recommended good and even showed how the, uh, the product worked, but I'm just not able to have access to them based on the location that I live. But I'm, I, will glad, I will highly recommend you for you to go check out these videos and try to see if you could find one. In this video, if you could find at least one product that will work for you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I really wanted this product to work for me, but I'm still ha I'm still happy that I'm able to use it in my house. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> so tell people that they have to become smurfs. <laughs> okay, this is application number two. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck. I'm gonna leave no. No, I'm gonna keep saying crap, so I'm just gonna leave. Bye. No, but come. I feel like this will look perfect on your skin, though. Oh no, no, no. Come on.
No, but I have to do a fair review. I have to, we, we're three people in the house with three different complexion. I think it has to do with my dress and that nothing is wrong with the sunscreen. Something's definitely wrong with the sunscreen. But I think Compared to last time, it looks different, right? Come with the sunscreen. Okay, and I'm going to put my hand. Look at this. It looks better. You still it looks look better. Why are you the way that you are? Why?